Let's talk about pain management during labor. Now there's really three big choices. There's epidural, there's IV pain medicine, and then there's what they call natural childbirth. Now between you and me, if I was a woman and I was gonna have natural childbirth, for me that would mean no makeup. Uh, but you know, if you wanna deliver without pain medicine, more power to you and we'll certainly support you through that. The other two big categories are the epidural, and the epidural will um, completely take your pain away if it's working properly, um, and, IV medic and IV medication. Now, it used to be, until very recently, that IV medication meant Stadol. Interestingly, Stadol, at least temporarily, has become unavailable, and so we've sort of expanded our horizons on what we use for IV pain medicine. There's another medicine called Nubane that we're using, and another medicine called Fentanyl. So those are all some medicines that are being used um, for IV pain management. People also use morphine and Demerol um, in labor, but those are probably less commonly used. The one thing about IV pain medicine is that medicine does get to the baby. Now it's very safe for the baby, but sometimes we get tricked and we think that labor is a long way off. We give you a bunch of pain medicine and then boom, you deliver like that. In that case, the baby's respirations, its breathing, can be a little bit depressed or slowed because of the medicine. If that happens, there is a medicine we can give the baby to rescue it, um, so it is safe. But that is the one downside, uh, one of the downsides of IV pain medicine. The other thing about IV pain medicine is that it will make you groggy or sleepy, which some people like, but for other people, they don't like the way it makes them feel, or they don't like being sort of sleepy and groggy as they're going through labor or as they're delivering the baby. So those are all things to think about. Now, natural childbirth, there's all kinds of things that people do, like breathing techniques and uh, focus points and things like that. Quite honestly, it's still going to hurt, um, but that is certainly an option. Um, however, don't be closed-minded. So I always encourage my patients, even that want natural childbirth, at least keep an open mind so that if things get really out of control, you, you, you're okay with accepting pain medicine. There's no point torturing yourself. And you shouldn't think of using pain medicine as being a problem or, or being defeated. It's just a tool that we have to make labor more enjoyable, more comfortable for you. So those are some things to think, think about, um, about pain medicine during labor.